Hello Internet, I'm Guy and welcome back if you're a subscriber. Uh, a couple of videos ago I machined a circular magnetic clock face that is designed to display magnetic fields on a piece of magnetic film as part of the clock that I've been working on. So I'm showing you some of that footage here on my right. Today I'm going to show you how I assemble it, but I'm going to skip over all of the wiring of the electronics and the writing the code, because that's about as exciting to watch as watching paint peel. But uh, let's just jump right in now and I'll show you what goes on inside, how it works, and then I'll show you the final clock. I'm pretty pleased with this one. As I may have mentioned in other videos, I make these clocks in collaboration with my friend Dave, who lives in North Carolina, and I'm way up here in Maine. And we collaborate by communicating by phone and video and chat and everything else. Um, so we, we're always on the same page when it comes to how these clocks evolve and get designed and finished. But it's on me to build them. These are all the functioning parts of the clock. The only thing that's not showing here is the big plumbing elbow that will sit on top of here. And this will go out in the front, as you probably have seen in the picture. So what I have here is the electronics assembly. This is the power jack. These are the two touch switches. This one, when you touch this piece of copper through this cable here, will trigger it to show time. This one will let you set the hour plus or minus for daylight savings. Now inside the electronics here is a battery that backs up the real-time clock chip. So the only reason you ever need to change the time is when you want to add or subtract an hour. So this keeps real time whether it's plugged in or not, and we'll, this battery will keep it running for over a year without any power being applied. So, and notice I've labeled it front here because this other touch switch, this one, is connected to this piece of copper here, and when the plumbing pipe fix, fits over it, then you can put your finger right here and do the time set feature. So now, this is the electromagnet that I machined the 12 holes in to evoke a clock face. And I will now plug this into the circuitry here with a polarized plug that has three wires. Uh, get that right. So there are two wires going to the electromagnet here and one wire going to the copper touch sensor uh, film uh, or tape. This is the magnetic uh, film that shows the magnetic field. So it's very simple stuff. You just plop it right on there, just mounted it right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me just pull that around a little bit plug it in, and let's see, it should be alive now, so if I touch it right here, you can see a little light came on here, and it's showing the time, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, so it's 420. So it does big bright blinks, if you will, for the hours, and then the blink fades for, this, for the minutes, times 5. So now there's a special feature, if I touch and hold right here, now it'll do a really interesting fade here. So it starts bright and fades down. Goes down all the way, comes back up again. It's interesting to watch what happens in here. That's, that's why I'm doing this special feature. And fading down again. And the transitions in here are really beautiful. So that's that. And then, uh, oh no, it's got one more fade cycle, I forgot. I wanted to keep it interesting, just to have a, a reward for uh, touching it and holding it and get, having an experience. And then it fades out quickly. So now, assuming that the pipe is sitting here, um, what you would do is touch right here to advance one hour. So now it's two, three, four, five, and then the minutes, five, 10, 15, 20. So now if I want to subtract it back again, I press and hold this. Two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, oopsie. Yeah, I accidentally reached over and I touched the, the touch sensor, so they both triggered and this one took preference. So let me do that again. Pressing it right here. One, two, and there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's five hours. So let's try that again to get it down to four. If I hold it, one, two, three, four. Yes. So that's how it works. So you only get time on demand. There is no demonstration of time when it's not running. But if you look very carefully, and I'm not sure you can see this in the camera, but there's just a bit of a ghost of the magnetic field 
because the uh, clock plate here has been slightly magnetized and so you can just see you can actually see it a little bit right there if you look very carefully so here's the assembled clock and once again if i want to show time i just touch it right there two three four five so that's 405 roughly now if i want to set the time back i can touch and hold here two three four oh five once again one two three oh five and if i just touch this briefly two three four oh five and press and hold to get the special feature so it comes on and then fades out. It's really interesting to watch, isn't it? Fading back in very gently. The colors that this film can resolve are really fascinating. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please remember to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already and you can also support me on Patreon and in the description below you will see links to my website and Dave's website that show all of the clocks we've made so far. I've lost track I think maybe we're up to 10 of them I'm not sure uh, but if you want to know more about them and there's a whole playlist of videos of these clocks as well which you'll see in the bottom of the video towards the end here. Thanks again! Thanks.